Hello, to have a custom Lego minifig review from Minibigs. We have one of their newer release minifigs. Not that it's new, new, but it came out this year. Um, you can kind of tell which minifigure it already is. It's their new Halloween fan minifig. Uh, it comes with this awesome giant sticker with the um, shiny blade blood on it. Uh, of course, you can see that it is Michael Myers. A very cool sticker. It's Like I said, it's a very big sticker, so this is going to for sure be good in the collection. And then on to the minifigure himself. So he had um, minifigs come out, and then um, he had to make more. And I was part of getting the more group <laughs> because I missed it because I was coming home from something I can't remember. But uh, we have the minifigure. comes with two faces and a custom bloody knife. I believe it's the Brick Arms Butcher uh, knife. But let's get right into him. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie... Or movies from the Halloween series. Could be the Rob Zombie ones. Could be um, H2O. Anything like that. That's where this minifigure came from, of course. If you don't know who Michael Myers is. Um, I guess I'll do both heads at the same time. I think I like the bloody eye one better, though. But here is the minifigure. Of course, like you don't put both heads on. But as you can see, very detailed minifigure. Of course, Mini Bigs does print this in house. That's all him. He does a great job with all his new minifigures coming out, and I absolutely love them. Um, so there's the two faces. Uh, like I said, I like the Bloody Eyes one a little better. Um, if you know who Michael Myers is, he wears the white mask, uh, and then I think it's number four. I don't know. He's always something's always happening to him, but he gets either shot in the eyes and he starts bleeding from them. Uh, that's where that one comes from so you can see the blood dripping down from the eye holes you can see the wrinkles around the mask I really love this face uh, so let's put the other head on now or uh, take off that head I believe this is a yeah it is a Lego hair piece I can't remember where this is from from the set though I think it might be modified if I remember correctly I think it has a little bit of some sanding on the front but here we go, there's Michael. Got the dark blue outfit, his jumpsuit, of course. Like I said, you can see the hair piece on there. It's a little shave in the front, fits this minifigure for the mask perfectly. Uh, coming down to his chest and torso, you can see again, like I said, he's got the dark blue jumpsuit on, like the mechanic suit is what it is. Uh, you can see the two pockets on the uh, upper chest. You can see all the wrinkles. He does have like a tight belt on. Of course, the zipper down the center, and then he does have a little bit of a white undershirt and some skin showing at the top. Very cool, very detailed. This is pad printed, so you can see there's no rays into it. It's flush with the Lego parts. It's kind of hard because of the darkness focuses on the background. Uh, minifigure can come apart. It does not hurt the printing at all. See, there's a little bit of some waist printing, some more wrinkles for that belt because it's pulled tight. And then the zipper comes down. And then coming down to the legs, you can see some wrinkles in the knees. And then, of course, we have his black boots or shoes. I think they were boots. Coming over to the side of the minifig, we don't have any arm printing, no body, side waist. We do have side of the legs because we have his shoes. So you can see the wrinkles over the pant, um, over the shoes themselves, and then the black boot. And then we have the light flesh tone hands, or light nug nougat, nugget, whatever Lego calls it nowadays. Coming over to the same, on the other side, on his, his right side, we have the boot printing and the leg pant, like wrinkle. And then coming to the back of the minifig, we have a little bit of a collar detail, and then that upper line across the uh, body or the outfit. Then we have the, like I said, that black waistband or belt coming across, and you can see it is being pulled in tight by those detail lines up there. And then nothing on the back of the waist, and then we do have the boot printing on the back of the feet. So a very cool minifig. I'm super happy with this one. Love the Halloween series. Uh, let's give him his knife. So you can see it is, I think it's the Brick Arms Butcher Knife. You can see those cool custom splat patterns for the stabbings, of course. 
And we're getting almost to Halloween, so it's perfect time for this minifigure. See right there. Then we'll throw on his other head. Oh. If a minifig ever gets stuck on the hair, wiggle back and forth. Don't just try to pull it straight off, it won't come off. Give him his crying, bloody eyes. And there you go. The Halloween fan minifig from Minibigs. AKA Michael Myers. Or the shape. A lot of people call him the shape with some stuff. And you can see his face on this one. So very cool minifig. Love the accessories. Great job with this one, Minibigs. And help. I know he had some help from some other people in the LEGO community. And I can't wait to show some more Minibigs this year. Um, I would say, if you want to check out this minifig, link will be down below. But he only made a limited run. And that's sometimes a bad thing when you know you want to get a minifig. But check around. You might find something. But yet again, awesome minifig. Minibigs. Awesome sticker design. I know who did that. So... Um, I would, like I said, I would say check the links down below for this minifig, but uh, he won't be around. Um, but if you want to see my other mini big stuff, I'll have some links down below. You can check him out. Check out the website, of course. He's got a lot of new minifigures out that I haven't got to yet. So be sure to check out those as well. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't already liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.